Red alert. Red alert. Red alert. Red alert. Tech Clan has just released a brand new Dying Light 2 gameplay trailer. Let's not waste time. Let's just jump right into it. I'm so excited. Hello, I am Timon Smektawa, Dying Light 2 Hello. lead game designer. And this is David Lubryka, animation director. Hi. We can't wait until December 7th to finally give you Dying Light 2 Stay Human. I can't wait either. The game we have been working I'm on super really pumped hard for, this game. for the last few years. We are hoping the gameplay video you're about to watch will give you a foretaste of parkour and combat systems waiting for you in the game. And we are just about to enter the city, fighting our way through its brutal and dangerous streets. Though, as you will see in a moment, there are plenty of things you can use to your advantage. So watch closely, look for special combat and park removes, and check out how with just a bit of creativity you can combine the two. Ready? Let's go! There are sometimes I wonder what this city looked like before all this. It looks but so cool. Probably like many others. People had their ambitions, plans, lives. Now it's all gone. Yep. The virus started it. But it was the people who made the world the way it is. This city. Villador. They tell me they had a vision. They had hope. But soon, one vision broke into many different worlds. Oh man, that looks so good. Oh! <laughs> Instead of fighting together, people stood against each other. War broke out. Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? Hope died. Nice. I'm really looking forward to the new parkour moves. I'm really looking forward to that. Look at that. That looks so cool. But I can't let that happen. Nice. At least. Not yet. Look at that! That's so cool! I need the secrets the city holds. Oh, fuck! Hey! Still some rats here! I nice! Wall running, guys! It's finally here! Wasn't the first game, but it will be in the second one! Nice! Who's that guy? He looks insane! <laughs> they say that great change is a series of small gestures. Ah, oh, dude, that's so series? cool. Look at that weapon! It looks insane! Ooh. Nice! I like that. Oh, what? N um. What do you call this? Is all hope really gone? We'll see about that. Well, that was an exciting trick, wasn't it? I don't know what you call trick, that, but it? that looks really cool. Did you notice those bandits in medieval-like armor passing by skyscrapers, banks, and large billboards? That's what we call a modern Dark Ages. And it's a very unique design. Ah, one I want to see more. <laughs> for the plot of Dying Light 2. But that there's another so thing that stood out to me. All those parkour moves that you and your team has put so much effort into. Well, all you need is a few thousand of animations, cooperation with professional traces, mock-up sessions, and invaluable help from David Bell, whose face and moves player will see in the game, by the way. No, yes, right. And we've got twice the number of parkour moves compared to the first game. Nice, and we nice. are showing some of them in this trailer. The vault kicks being the most important to me personally. It brings a whole new fighting style into the game. The player can stagger an enemy and use them to perform further attacks. For example, by rebounding from their bodies, jumping of them onto other foes, and so on. I think we captured the movement really well and made it quite simple for the players to perform. 
I can't wait for them to try it out and tell for themselves how much they I love I cannot it. wait either. It's definitely that's it. going to be useful. The city's buildings are higher than yeah. anything we have done before, improving its verticality. Unfortunately, Players will need to really find a to way more. to reach those okay. tall skyscrapers and other challenging spots too. Then it's good we scattered some helpers around, like a paraglider which can support players in both parkouring and combat. Exactly, and it's gonna do great, especially in fights against humans, which are more frequent and important than in Dying Light 1. It's been over 20 years since the events from the first game, so people Dang. adjusted. They are much bolder now, at least during the day. And they are more vicious too. <laughs> and I think that's a great summary of this discussion. Pre-order Dying Light 2 and explore its vast, complex world on December 7th. Did that, done that, pre-ordered, I can't Thank wait. You. Can't wait to get my hands on it. That's great and all, but where's Kyle Crane? <laughs> oh, how I missed that, man. All right, well, that's, that's the new Dying Light 2 trailer for you. Um, not really much to say about it, but uh, we did get to see a snippet just a little a few more little new things like uh i think they're called brass knuckles yes they're called brass knuckles i wish i knew that when i saw them that looks so cool and everything about this game looks great with that being said i really hope they do keep true with their word on the choice system that they have in the game so like you choose this instead of this all right so this changes this whole dynamic world or whatever you call it and it just changes your gameplay and it changes the story. I really hope they stay true to that because it'll just, it'll give YouTubers more flexibility when making gameplay videos on Dying Light 2. Because most of the time when YouTubers make a gameplay video on a certain game, they just play the campaign once and they never come back to it again. It's just, it's just forgotten. <laughs> At least that's from what I've seen most of the time. It will give YouTubers more flexibility on making gameplay videos on this game because with their choice system. Furthermore, <laughs> you can play the campaign once and then you can actually come back to it and play it again because when you play it the second time, you can choose the other choice you didn't do. I'm curious to know how many choices they'll have in the game. I don't know if it's just going to be like an A and B choice. I wonder if it's going to be like an A, B, C, and D choice. If it's like three choices or four choices and each of them have different outcomes on each of those choices i don't know if i just made sense there i'm just too excited for this game but anyways that would make the game very complex very complex and very deep if that's the case then you'll definitely see a lot of youtubers coming back to this game for who knows how long but this game will last for a long time for sure and with that being said I am very excited to say that I did pre-order this game a while back, like I think three months ago, two months ago. I was lucky enough to be able to pre-order the Dying Light 2 Collector's Edition, which comes with that statue cool looking thing. And I saw it and I didn't care about the price and I was just like, I want it. And immediately I pre-ordered the Collector's Edition. I was really worried that they were going to be very limited and I wasn't going to be able to have my hands on the Collector's Edition. But I was lucky enough to get one myself. And I got it on Best Buy, so thank you Best Buy. So I cannot wait to get my hands on that Collector's Edition and I'm definitely going to be doing a video unboxing the Collector's Edition and showing, of course, each item that's in the box and telling you guys if it was worth it or not so i'm really looking forward to it and i'm definitely really looking forward to this game itself i can't wait to play it it's literally on our fingertips and it's almost here guys i think we're three months away before this game gets released to be honest though i don't know if people who pre-order the collector's edition will get it earlier i'm not sure about that i'll check on it but if we do get it earlier then that's even better <laughs> It's just crazy because I remember I watched the first trailer of the first Dying Light game and I remember telling myself, holy crap, this game looks so cool. It was such a game changer. It was something new. It wasn't just an ordinary zombie game. They added something special, which is the parkour. And that just adds so much to the game. So I'm really grateful to all these game developers and everyone who worked really hard in this game because with the first Dying Light, they did a fantastic job. A1 game, fantastic. I love that game so much. Um, I played that game like three times and it was just, it was such a playable game. I loved it. 
It's funny because I actually didn't get to play Dying Light, I think, two years after re it released or three years after it released. The reason was because I had an Xbox 360 and I couldn't afford to buy an Xbox One for myself. So unfortunately, I missed out on the game. But when I finally got an Xbox One, I immediately got Dying Light and I loved every single minute of that game. I'm such a huge fan of this game. so. I hope they keep their word with, with everything they've been saying, so I, I can't wait. Uh, that's about it, um, let me know what you guys think. It's almost here, December 7th, you guys. Subscribe, leave a like, and catch me until next time.